So Ubisoft just finished their conference. Uh, they had a pretty pretty decent showing this year. So <laughs> yeah, so they opened up with Just Dance 2019. They they brought the the, the jank, dirty trash panda back to start dancing. I guess they are playing uh, marching band orchestration versions uh, of probably some of the songs that are going to be in the game. I, I wasn't very surprised that this was is in here because Just Dance is still a big property for Ubisoft to make a good amount of money from it. So I, I figured it was going to be back in there. And You know, it, it's good at least they start off with this because it's better off having it in the beginning, getting it out of the way, than having a good conference. And then halfway through, you just get this. So... Yeah, so Just Dance 2019, they went into that. They then went into the first uh, trailer of the show, which was Beyond Good and Evil 2. We have a new trailer for it. This game is still looking very, very cool. I'm interested in where they're going to go with this. I was very excited for this moment. I got very, <laughs> very hype. And that trailer was cool. They... they they did go on to show like a little gameplay, but I don't know what it was. They never zoomed in on it. They only showed it from far away, and they said it's going to be behind closed doors at E3. So we're not going to be seeing any footage from this anytime soon, really. Now, they showed it in this way it means like it's not ready to be like blown up and seen up close. But so probably next E3 is when we'll finally get a good, good look at this. Then after that, we also got the announcement. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and his, I think, Hit Record is the name of his company he does. And Beyond Good and Evil is going to have this collaborative project where artists, musicians, writers, and whoever can come in and collaborate and working on this game. So, like, I think they're probably going to do something in terms of, like, art that you make and maybe music and whatever is going to be put into the game at some degree. And it's going to be this whole collaborative process. Like, they... They didn't elaborate it on too much, but that's what I felt is probably what it was. So, so that, was, that was a fine. That was. So then they moved on to Rainbow Six Siege, which I was surprised. Like, it's still getting a lot of content towards it. So Rainbow Six Siege is getting uh, some some new some new mode, and they also showed off that uh, it's getting like a documentary about certain players. Like I was just more like, like damn, there's a esports scene for Rainbow Six. Like I need to I need to come uh check this out because I didn't even know it got to this <laughs> this degree. So now for one of the uh, cooler announcements of the show we had this this legend come on and talk about the new trials game that's coming out which is is looking quite quite promising. I need to get the best part of it when he gets on stage. Because it was, yes, <laughs> yes, it, it was cool. So they, they talked about the new Trials game. It's coming out next year. It's going to be on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch was a cool announcement as well. Looks like they're going to be doing kind of pretty much the same, but they also got some new stuff in there. We're getting a closed beta at some, some point. I'm very hyped for this. I loved the last Trials game, so I'm, I'm there day one. And then they, they brought a community manager out. They were talking about uh, how they're working with the community on it. Yeah, February 2019. It's coming to everything. Next, they moved on to the Division 2. They gave a new trailer that was actually uh, really well done. It was a really well done trailer. I, I recommend giving it a watch. It was pretty cool. Gave at least the tone of what to possibly expect for the game. And then he came out after the trailer and kind of gave some details in terms of what we can expect in the game and what features are changing, how we're going to do those class system, and how we can expect more things coming post-game, like DLC in terms of episodes, they call them, and that they will be completely free, which I think is great. And kind of elaborated on some, some things of the game itself, maybe a little more into the story. And Division 2 is sh shaping up to be pretty all right. I, I didn't buy the first game. I played the beta of it and liked it. But maybe maybe at some point, I I may give Division B Division 2 a chance. So yeah, he said year one. So they also said that they were going to elaborate on. So like, well, pretty much that 
Division 2 is going to last a while. They're going to try and keep this game supported for a few years after and provide like free content, which I always respect when some studios can do that. It's always cool. So then after that, we got the cool, cool uh, showing of the conference. We got to see uh, Mario Rabbids uh, Donkey Kong, the DLC that's coming June 26th. I was more excited because the legend Grant Kirkhope was there uh, orchestrating some music. He was playing the Donkey Kong 64 rap right there, which is great. And you got to see a little trailer of this. Here's some like, music of possibly what's going to be in the game. I was actually very surprised. I bought I bought Rabbids last year and I I enjoyed it. It was a good game. So I'm all in on the DLC for this and especially that I get to hear some more Grant Kirkhope tunes and some uh, some remakes of his past tunes from Donkey Kong 64 is is always a plus. So I'm I'm there on that. I'll just check out this performance too. So it's a good performance. So after that, they moved into another trailer for Skull and Bones, that pirate game that they showed off from last E3. We got a new trailer that's way longer, and we also got an extended demo of this game. So we're getting to see a lot more of the gameplay of it. And it seems pretty cool in how it's going to work. It looks like they're taking the pirate components of Assassin's Creed, and they're really just making it a full game and going all in with it. And they're talking about how you can build uh, your ship, or you can, like, pick which components of like which weapons you want to take into battle with you and how taking ships down you can call in other ships to help you in these battles and then you can get into battles with the other ships to get the treasure and it, it seeming it seems kind of all right i i was generally surprised like this seems like a pretty cool game because i i did enjoy the pirate sections of assassin's creed so I probably will be looking for this game. And it also has a 2019, so we're going to be seeing more of it in the future then. I'll probably turn this down. I'm sure this music probably is uh, annoying to some. So it's a little lower now. Uh, next, they moved into Transference, which was the uh, game by Elijah Wood Studio. And uh, I forgot the, the developer of it, but it's, it's a story-based a VR game that I guess is also coming to traditional consoles as well. So it's going to be playable in VR and without it. Seems pretty interesting so far. Seems like they're doing some, some cool psychological stuff with it. And they might be doing some interesting some story components too. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. And it comes out fall. So it, we don't have to wait too, too long for this one. Which is always good. Next was the big surprise of the show. Another one. So they showed off Starlink. This was the game they showed off last E3. It was that game where you uh, have the little ships and you attach them to your controller and that's you customize it. And I, I, you know, I was like, you know, it's a cool concept. I just don't like that you have to attach the ship to the controller and I don't feel like having to, to buy the stuff for that. And then they had to go and do this and I, I lost it. And I was like, you know what? I am now supporting this game. I am buying this game. Because they put in Star Fox, Fox McCloud into Starlink for the Nintendo Switch version, including its own like R Wing ship that you can attach to the, the Switch. I I was hyped. And then Miyamoto was in the audience, and it's always a pleasure to see Miyamoto at anything, no matter what. If, if Miyamoto was at Sony, I would be I would be stoked. And they showed him the prototype of this. I was like, God, stop. Because now you gotta get this game. Like, I don't really, I don't have too much interest in the story part, but like, I'll, I will play it for that, just because that seems kind of cool. And those space shooters, like, it, it seems fine. Like, I like the space shooting concept of it, but I'll elaborate on that later. So next, they moved into For Honor, which I again learned has a huge community and apparently has tournaments and all this. And they elaborated how For Honor is going to be getting a. Uh, a free, a free starting edition they can get on Uplay from now until next Monday. And if you pick it up now, you get to keep the game forever, which is cool. And how coming October, we're going to be getting a new expansion for the game called Missionary Fire. So you're going to be seeing these characters and types. And I think it looks pretty cool. Like, I'm not going to lie. It looks, looks pretty all right. There's also another mode that's coming to the game alongside this. But they showed the, the in the trailer, but I, I didn't really get a good sense of what it was. But 
new, new stuff is coming to For Honor. Next, they also talked about the Crew 2 is coming uh, very soon, like I think the end of June. And the thing that was weird about it was that they said we're getting an open beta like June 21st, like, like pretty much a week before the game comes out. And it's always weird when games get betas like four days before the game comes out. But we're, we're getting we're getting a beta re real soon. Open beta uh, June 21st. So I'll be on the lookout for that. I might give it a try. I never played the first crew or saw much of it, but it's there. So then after crew two, we got our deep dive into Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which this looks like it's going to really change the series up in certain aspects. So this is also uh, when they went into it, if you can find some, some clips of it. But this is the first Assassin's Creed game where you can play as a male character or a female character for the series. I don't know uh, if it's going to be its own self-contained story where the female character is going to have her own story or if it's going to be kind of just uh, the same story just with different names. But we're getting that. They talked about they showed also in this, this pretty extended demo that you're going to have a lot of like these these uh, story moments like this where you can pick dialogue trees options and like an RP RPG elements. I was mostly just thrilled. Like, okay, they're, they're going with Greece. They're, they're going to be doing some interesting things story-wise. So I haven't played an Assassin's Creed since Black Flag. I, I may give this one a try. This, this one kind of looks all right. So here's a little, uh, some, more, some more footage of it. Let me, let me get into the part that actually is looking pretty dope. The part that I was like, okay, this looks cool. When they get on this beach, just... Hundreds <laughs> dudes just duking it out. But yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, October 5th is the release date. Looks looks pretty good. And uh, overall, that that was the Ubisoft press conference. G good job overall. They, they had a good showing. I liked what they showed. I probably give them about maybe I think in my recap I said something to the degree of a high C low B they did a good job I liked what they showed they showed a lot of good things there's a bunch of stuff coming at least for fall we have a lot to expect for early 2019 and with games like Beyond Good and Evil we know to expect way further in the future that's definitely maybe a late 2019 or 2020 game but yeah Good showing by Ubisoft. They've been doing a good job these past few years in these conferences. So, yeah, that's it for the recap. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, we got Sony next. This is going to be an interesting one. I don't know what they're going to go into, but it is going to be fun. So I will see you there.